I think this is about goal setting. Um, so, you know, while I'm a surgeon, I do a lot of testosterone implants for patients. So I do testopel implants. Um, and um, when I talk to a lot of patients, the majority of the patients I see are seeking um, virilization, masculinization. So we, I dose them to sort of physiologic levels. Um, but I have sort of this um, cohort of patients that is seeking sort of, you know, underdosing, but wants testosterone um, supplementation. Um, so we sit and we talk about the goals of therapy, understanding whether, you know, I have to under explain to them that sometimes underdosing can, um, will not lead to cessation of menses, which is sometimes the actual goal, like not virilization, but cessation of menses. And so in those situations, we talk about, you know, what other things we can do that, um, that may not have sort of either feminizing effects, you know, a lot of our transmasculine patients don't want to be on oral contraceptive pills, et cetera. So sometimes I'll underdose testosterone in a pellet form um, and also um, place an IUD in those patients. And so it's really sort of about discussing what their goals are. I'm now seeing younger patients, so not necessarily patients who were dosed on, on doses of testosterone and who are now working backwards, but I have a couple of patients in their 20s who sort of are on the side of the, the masculine side on the spectrum, but don't want to be fully masculinized. So I'll underdose them as well. And, you know, I think that there's a physiologic component to this improving their, their sort of state of being and giving them a sense of well-being. But also, I think that there's this component of, um, I feel like I'm taking some steps towards masculinization, but not completely. So that makes me feel good. And I think that there's also, I think we, um, uh, actually, to this crowd, I'm not going to say undervalue. I think um, uh, people in my, um, from where I'm coming from, undervalue the importance of giving a patient a sense of control of their transition and their care plan. 